Hey, check out this place. This is, um, you can see all the stuff over here. This is sort of like the PS Audio graveyard. We've got, I don't know, you probably can't see up that high. We've got spare parts that we no longer, you know, obsolete parts. We've got all the warranty stuff that we save when, when a product just can't be repaired anymore. Um, you know, it's 30 years old or whatever. We, we store it back here so that in case somebody needs some parts or whatever, but this is kind of the PS Audio graveyard. Woo um, so Lyle in Kansas City, Missouri. Great, great city with one of the best bakeries I've ever been to. I, I'm, I'm a bread snob, so whew, there's a, a bakery there. I can't for the life of me remember it, but wow, is that good. Anyway, Lyle says, I hear a lot of audiophiles talk about speaker efficiency. However, I'm not sure I fully understand it. How much a factor is it? And could you explain actually what it is? What does it mean? That's a great question, Lyle. So I know there's a lot of confusion from people about speaker efficiency. Essentially, speaker efficiency is how much power equals how loud of sound comes out of the speaker. And it's usually expressed in terms of putting one watt into the speaker and getting a certain number of decibels out. So decibels are a measure of sound and give you some references. A 50 dB, 60 dB signal is, is pretty low in sound. I mean, it's something that was uh, 50 dB in 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 uh, in sound sound pressure would be fairly quiet. Something around uh, 120 dB, you'd start getting hearing damage. And it's a logarithmic scale, so it's not linear. It's not something that um, you know tracks where 50 dB is very quiet and 100 dB is twice as loud. 100 dB is quite a bit louder than 50 dB, and so on. Anyway, so you don't have to fully understand decibels, but they are just a measure of how loud something gets relative to a very specific reference, okay? So, not to get too technical, what we want to do if we're going to measure the efficiency <coughs> of a loudspeaker, which is, again, if I give it one watt at a certain frequency, let's say the frequency is like one kilohertz, beep, beep, about like that. Um, I am practically tone deaf, <laughs> but you get the idea. It's about that kind of middle tone. If I put one kilohertz at one watt of power into a speaker, how much sound will I get out as measured with a little meter in decibels? Now, you might think, well, if you had your ear right up to the speaker, it'd be pretty damn loud. And if I was way back here, that whatever noise is coming out would be kind of uh, uh, soft, right? Sure, of course. So the other component you have to remember is it's usually one meter away or three feet away. So what I do is I take my microphone and I set it and I measure the distance and it's going to be one meter away from the speaker. And then I get my amplifier that is putting out just one watt of power. It plays something, anything, let's just call it the one kilohertz sound. And connected to my microphone is a meter, a decibel meter. And I look on that and it says 90. So for one watt in with my microphone three feet away from the speaker, I get 90 dB of sound out. Now that's a relatively efficient good loudspeaker. If, and as we go down, so let's say that now I put a, a speaker on that is a very efficient one, like a horn, okay? Like a big avant-garde horn. You've seen these big old horns, right? And they come out, they're very efficient. So if I put one watt into a horn, I could get 95 dB, 97 dB. Now that might not sound like a big difference between 90 and, and 7 more dB, but remember, this is a log scale, so it takes a lot more 
uh, you know, uh, to, to, to get something else out. And it's, um, well, we don't have to go into why that is, but trust me that 10 dB at this point is a lot. So going from 90 to 100 is a lot of sound pressure difference. And so we could say that a 97 dB per watt per meter, right? Now you understand, per watt, one watt, one meter away. So when I say 97 dB per watt per meter, that's the efficiency of the speaker. That means for a given input, I'm going to get this much loudness out. Now, the opposite end of the scale. What's a inefficient loudspeaker? Well, something that's 85 dB, 87 dB for one watt. That's going to take a lot of power to get something else out. As an example, see if I remember right, um, I believe for every 3 dB beyond that, you need to double the power. Is that right? I think that's right. You need twice the power in order to get three more dB out. Mm, I'll have to check on it, but I'm pretty sure that's true. So it can go up real quick. So if you need to make something loud, like let's say we want to play an orchestra at 110 dB and we started at 85, it's going to take a lot of watts to get that 110 dB. So that's the sensitivity of a loudspeaker. Hope that helps. Thanks.